brothers of Yusuf, they got jealous because they thought that his father or their father loved Yusuf more than anyone else. But of course, his proper did not do that. And because of that, they tried to get rid of Yusuf. Where did they put Yusuf? In the well. You know, who's nine years old here? Nine. Anybody nine? Raise your hand, you're nine. So imagine you, nine years old, you was alone in the well. <laughs> what? Alone in the well. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Yusuf went to the well, Allah sent Jibril. And Jibril put his hand and cool him down and said, don't worry. Right? It's not easy to be alone, nobody there. And how long did he stay there? Three days. Right? Three days. But Yusuf, even he was that young, he had uh, put his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? No, the life of Yusuf like this, up and down. You know, look like when the father loves somebody, it's good, right? But because of that love, Yusuf have to end up in, in the well. Life in the, the well is good or not? Not good. But because he was living in the well, where did he live after that? No? In the palace. In the palace. Yeah. Because there is a caravan pass by, they need water. When they put the bucket, and the poly baby come out. And the baby is so handsome. You know, if you put all the handsome people in the world, compared to Yusuf, just one Yusuf, Yusuf more handsome than all this. So therefore, when women saw Yusuf, they cut their finger. <gasps> yeah, remember the story? You're so handsome, Yusuf. So they said, oh, it's good. And they sold Yusuf. And who did buy? The king. So where did Yusuf live now? Live in palace. And the, the, the wife of the king was barren. She couldn't deliver baby. No baby. And he said, let me take this boy to be our son. So Yusuf know three things like what? Like a son in the palace. Right? No, living in the palace, good or bad? Good. Okay? But because he was living in the palace, so Yusuf had to be ended up in the jail. What happened is, you know, the wife of king, you know, because Yusuf was, was handsome, tried to seduce him, and Yusuf refused, and because of that, Yusuf ended up what? in jail. Now look at up and down, up and down again now. Living in jail a little bit, bad. But because he was living in jail, and Yusuf come back again, and he become minister in Egypt. So what happened? The king had a dream. What's the king dream? Who remember? And nobody can explain the dream. Anybody? What? What? What was king dreams? Anyone died almost? Okay, man. Okay. He saw the the king saw skinny. Uh, what you call cows was eating a fat cow skinny cows was eating what fat cow <gasps> he woke up was dead he called her his visor and then there is someone used to be in the jail and they came out he said you know there is a man in the jail he know how to expand dream Call him. So Yusuf came out. Tell me about my dream. And he said, look, they're going to have seven, seven years we have in good weather. You're going to have 
harvest and everything. But then seven years, the next seven years, what? Be famine. We be dry, no water, nothing. People going to suffer. But I can manage that. So what happened? Yusuf, after that, he hired him to become minister. You understand? So Yusuf saved, saved Egypt. So what happened? Yusuf, the minute how to eat. For example, people used to eat breakfast and lunch and dinner. So Yusuf can manage only, only eat lunch for his mom, only eat dinner for this day. Just continue. So the next, when the, the, the bad time happen, everybody have food already. Okay? No, who suffer? Also the brother of Yusuf. So Yusuf brother had to come to Egypt. But you know, if you are nine years old, no, you meet your brother, maybe Yusuf now by 22, 25. He ch change or not? Change. But the brother not change because they are... So when they went to Egypt, did you notice his brother? Yusuf become minister. Yusuf recognize them. Oh, look at this, my brother. Who put me on the well? Right? And they asked for food. So Yusuf gave them food. But Yusuf said, next year, when you come again, you have to bring your brother. Who's the brother? Name? Benjamin. Because Benjamin used to be the same mother. So went back, and the food finished, Dad, we have to bring Benjamin. If not, they will give you food. No, no, no. I'm worried what happened to Yusuf will happen also to Benjamin. Dad, we need it. So in the end, I said, okay, be careful. We stick care of him. So Benjamin came, and everybody, the Yusuf put everybody in the special rooms, they are guests, and then took Bunyamin with him. I said, Bunyamin, don't worry, I am your brother, Yusuf. <gasps> oh, Yusuf. Okay? And you will stay with me. But you have to go with them first. And who, who, who knows the story after that? What happened? How, how Yusuf can get Bunyamin? Yeah? Good. So Yusuf asked to put his cup, special cup, belong to him, in the one of the like what you call it, bag. Okay. So uh, they put all the wheat, all the food, about to leave. Security came. Stop! I said, "What? You did steal? What? You didn't steal nothing. You know what? What you lost?" He said. The cup of the king. I said, we never steal the cup of the king. What happened if I, 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 I you know, I, I, we discover that it's with you? Okay, the one who they have, how, or they have the cup in their bag, they have to stay. And they start from the, 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 the what you call the other one, until come to Benjamin. And then what? Found it. Oh, please, please, don't take him. Just take one of them. Because my our father is blind because he lost Yusuf before. We don't want him to suffer again. I said, no, we have to do, to do justice. We found with him, he has to stay. So Bunyamin what? Stay. And all the brothers came back. Father, I'm sorry what happened, Bunyamin. I said, oh man, I before they lost what? Yusuf, no, no, what? Bunyamin. And the father became blind. Right, so the next day, at the next sick month, they have to come back again. And the father said, "When you go back to Egypt, don't go in the same doors. Go in different doors, because people may suspect about you." So, anyway, short story, they came back, right? And then when Yusuf asked them, "Do you remember what you did to Yusuf? Do you remember what he said?" So the brother said, are you Yusuf? He said, yes. Oh man, Allah loves you more than us. Please forgive us. He said, bring this my clothes to my father. So they went back again to Egypt, uh, sorry, to Palestine. 
And the father was smelling. He said, I smell Yusuf. It was only the, the clothes. When they put the clothes into his face, the father can see again. Okay? So in the end, what the father, the brother, they returned to Egypt. Okay, question to you. What was the dream? Huh? Eleven stars. So the brother came now. And who? The sun, the father in the moon. And then when the king said, Say, Ya Amati, Hada Ta'wilu Ru'ya. Daddy, this is the explanation of the dream. The dream became reality now. Okay? I know you know the story, just I want to ask question is what we learn from the story. Number one, Allah SWT sometimes have plan and you have plan. What was the plan of his brother? To get rid of Yusuf. But what happened? Yusuf become right. So sometimes the same with you. In your life, sometimes maybe you fail. You want to uh, want to be doctor, to be engineer, whatever you want. You know, you have exam and you fail. So never despair. Allah knows better. You know there is a man, he's Hindu. His religion is Hindus. He's in Seattle. He wants to be doctor. But he fell in exam. So he studied the other subject. But you know said, if I am in that school, I never see a Muslim. Because he was study in that school in in the Seattle University, he made MSA. So Allah know Allah wants to give me guidance, so I be, so Allah SWT said, You don't to go to medicine, you go to school, and Alhamdulillah is engineer, no? Right? And he become Muslim. So he get to he become engineer. Right? So this we learn. Okay. <clears throat> when Yusuf had a dream, where did he go to know about what the meaning of dream? His father. When you have problem, where do you have to go? The parents. Right? So we learn from here, as a children, when you have something, the first thing you go, not your friend, who? Why your parents? Because no one loves you more than your parent. You know there is a, a man, sh sh listen this. Sh sh he was walking from Yemen. From Yemen. He walked, he walked, he walked. He went to Medina and met the Prophet. Ya Rasulullah, I left my parent and they are crying. They not allow me to come to Medina. But I want to pledge before you that I want to be behind you, I want to do jihad with you. You know what the Prophet said? Go back to your parent as you did make them cry and make them laugh again. Make them what? Laugh again. Because the Quran said, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا No one love you more than who? The parent. There is a story. A man, his parent was blind. He wanted to get that of his mother. Because he had to take care of mother always. Because she was blind, she brought her mother to jungle and left her there. You get it? And he walked. And then he rise, oh man, my mom alone in the jungle. And he came back. When he came back, his mother, he heard somebody is coming. You know what the mother said? He said, hey, hey, young man, you know, please try to find my son. Maybe he got lost. You get it? His son was dumb her in the jungle. But his mother was worried about him. That's the mother. Subhanallah. Right? So therefore, you... You know, you will feel guilty when you one day, you yell, shout. The Quran said, Wala taqul lahuma uf. Never say what? Uf. What uf mean? Like your mom call you, Ali, what? That's uf. Even that uf is forbidden to your parent. Yes, mom. What I can do, mom? Right? Remember Handola, a sahaba. 
he going to die but he couldn't say la ilaha illallah and his companion was scared ya rasulullah alhamdulillah what happened he going to die he couldn't say la ilaha illallah he said us is a good man yeah he pray at night he fasting monday and thursday he's good muslim i not ask about his ibadah if his mother is still alive they check yeah so went to the mother mom it handala your son he said yeah how about over him he's a good man right rasulullah his mother is a good man too no 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 don't ask him about his ibadah ask her about his relationship with her mom how about uh, your son handala with you say so never forgive him what after he got married he just stay in the city and he left me alone here something three day i didn't have food and he didn't care about me but now he going to die i don't care so he went to the prophets rasulullah his mother got angry he didn't want to forgive him and rasulullah said tell her i'm coming so Mom, the prophet is coming. The prophet come to my house. No, no, no. Tell him wait. I've come to him. You know, old man walk like this slowly. And the prophet before he come, who knows story? First of all, did he collecting the wood? At the supper call, wood. When the mother came, he said, "The prophet, prophet, what what for this wood?" He said, "Turn off the fire." and put your son there my son i carry him for nine months i deliver him with difficulty then you put in fire he said yes because if you don't forgive him he will go to fire let him test the fire here first rasulullah just just to make like a, you know tactic okay no rasulullah no 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 please please don't put in the fire rasul said go to handle ana they run to handle la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah if the mother did not forgive him he will die with the hellfire okay another learn, uh, lesson we learn from the story you know Yusuf, what Yusuf know in Egypt become what minister right his father not minister a lot of people sometimes when they become doctor, engineer, they forget, even become sheikh, they forget their parents. In the Quran, Allah SWT said, when, when his father came to, Madi, to, to Egypt, they put him in a special place. So be careful. Even for example, you become doctor, you become engineer, for your parents, you are a baby. You still have to respect them. Right? You have to honor them. Okay? No, what uh, today with the month of what you call Ramadan, right? Who can tell me about Ramadan? Do you have a marker? Oh, question is why do we fast? Huh? Good. Once again. Ramadan is Arabic word, right? Ramadan. Arabic word something very interesting. Even the letter have meaning. Okay, I put it Arabic and I ask you. Maybe you know the meaning, right? Ar min rahma. What rahma mean? Mercy. So Ramadan, the month of mercy. Alif. Uh, 
עין. עריף I have to be, wow, this is an, you cannot uh, erase it, wow. Okay, good. I made mistake, I supposed to write in Arabic, Ro. Okay, tell me about Ramadan. Raw and what? No. After all what? Ramadan. No Alif. Mim. Then what? Dot. And then what? Before noon. Ramadan. Alif. Noon. Okay, Ramadan. So law is what you call? Rahmah, right? Mim. Who can guess Mim? The word Mim. Maghfirah. Maghfirah. What's Maghfirah mean? Rabbik fili. Maghfirah. Who can guess? Maghfira Wallah Igfirli Rabbi Igfirli Wali Ridaya Right? What's Maghfira mean? Forgiveness Forgiveness I want. I don't want to write it in, in English So after finish I will ask again What Rahmah mean? Maghfira mean? Forgiveness So Ramadan is the, the man of Rahmah and forgiveness Dod Dod means Doman. Doman. Doman means guarantee. Guarantee of Jannah. Doman of Jannah. Okay, boys, what Doman mean? Guarantee of Jannah. Guarantee of? The Prophet said, in the month of Ramadan, Allah opened the gate of Jannah. Right? Alif Aman. Aman from Jahannam. What Aman mean? Basal is Aman. Aman mean? Safe. Right? Guarantee of Aman, guarantee of uh, Doman, guarantee of Jannah. What is it? Safe from ja, Jahannam. What? What noon? Yeah. Noon. Who can guess? I think you know it. Maybe some of you have, some of you have the name by start by noon in Arabic. What is light in Arabic? Noor. Noor. Nur. Right? So Ramadan, look at here. Shh, shh, shh. The first one, Ramadan is the man of Rahmah. What is Rahmah? Mercy. The man of Magfirah. What Magfirah? The man of Doman. What do you mean? Guarantee Jannah. And then Alif, safe from hellfire. And then what? Light. Subhanallah. Okay? How long Ramadan? Huh? 30 days or 20 days? Question do you know? If there is a bang, you know bang? The bang make announcement tomorrow for two hours. We're going to open the door, the door of the bang and you can take whatever you want. Money, jewelry, diamond, whatever you want. Two hours only. Okay? You understand? Two hours you can take whatever you want. Do you think anyone have time to check the message? To what was up? To sleep? No. Subhanallah. So Ramadan more than being. Subhanallah. 
Because in Ramadan, everything is multiplied. Okay. You know when you read Quran? Who can read this? Huh? Alif, Lam, Mim. Alif, Lam, Mim. How much you get when you say Alif? Ten, right? Lam? Ten. Mim? Ten. In Ramadan, is time seventy. Alif seventy, Lam seventy, Mim seventy. Subhanallah. So we said Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. That nineteen huruf. So how much you get? Seventy times nine. Seventy, right? Times nineteen. Anybody can guess who go go in math. Seventy. Time nineteen. How much? Subhanallah. That's only Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Huh? One thousand three hundred thirty. Okay. No. How about Al Fatiha? Subhanallah. Okay. Question to you. How many of you know uh, you did the Quran in yes, Ramadan? Cast your hand. How many of you read Quran in Ramadan? Okay. How many did finish last year? The whole Quran, finish whole Quran reading. Mashallah, what's your name? Ausad. Mashallah, you? Mashallah, what's your name? You finish whole Quran? Finish Quran? Mashallah. So how much you get it? Right? If you pray Sunnah, the reward like pray what? Wajib. You pray Wajib, multiply what? Seventy. Test Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? No. Tell me what ayah or surah talk about Ramadan. What surah? Just for surah first. Surah, just only one ayah. What surah? Allah talk about Ramadan. What surah? You read it? Anybody? Surah Tul Baqarah. Surah Baqarah. What ayah? Yeah. So from now on you have you have to to do something based on Dalil. Why do you fast? I know my mom fasts, my dad fasting. This is every year Ramadan. I said no. You have to know it from the Quran. The Quran, so you can, you can, when you do it, you are diff feel different, right? Yeah. So, Allah SWT said, "Shahru Ramadan al-ladhi unzila fihi al-Quran." The month of Ramadan, with Allah revealed the Quran. So the Quran was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Give me different name of Quran. So we have Quran, right? Okay. What other name of Quran? Anybody? A Quran one. Quran have different name. Furqan, right? Furqan. Furqan. What's Quran mean? Quran mean the reading reading books. The most book that read in the world is Quran. Every day, you know, even even not one second, people at least read Al Fatiha, right? Around the world. Quran, right? Furqan is the distinguish. If you want to know the difference between right and wrong, just go to Quran. Another name of Quran. Kitab, right? What kitab mean? Book. Because Quran was written. But when Allah said kitab, that means the book that Allah SWT was from the seven heaven, put in the first heaven. They call it had dalikal kitab. Quran also 
Shifa. What Shifa mean? Curing. Shifa. Quran come to cure. Cure your soul, cure your body. Right? Somebody might be before did not good to their parent. Right? Every Quran. وَقَدَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَا وَبِرْوَالِ دَيْنِ إِسَانَ The Quran said to be nice to parents. People before maybe they, they don't want to spend their money to give charity. The Quran. Quran give what? The cure. Right? Now, the Quran come to answer three questions. And I will ask a question. If you know the answer, you are good. The first one I said, who are we? Second one, why are we here? And the last one, where are we going from here? What the first question? Second one? Why are we here? The last one? Where are we going from here? So, who are we? People? Okay. Anybody? It is true. Nobody knows the answer. You don't know, I don't know. Right? If you ask computer, hey, computer, who are you? Can he answer? No. Who can answer? The one who made the computer. They will tell you. Right? So we have to know who are we. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said we are Allah Khalifa. Did you hear the word Khalifa before? We are what? Allah Khalifa. Khalifa means the, the one who are in charge. The trustee. You know what trustee means? We are trustee. What does it mean? Everything that Allah gives to you is a trust. Everybody have eyes? What for the eyes? Huh? To see only? No, to see the good. Not only to see, people see the right? So the eyes is amana. In the judgment, Allah will call you. Right? What's your name again? Reza. Reza. You leave. And Reza died, maybe he was 80 years old. Allah said, How did you use your eyes? Because you can use your eyes for the good thing. And also what? The thing. So be careful. Eyes amana. Ear. What for the ear? Huh? That's it? To listen good thing. That's good, does it? To listen good thing. Not only to listen. Yeah. Not only to listen. To listen good thing. Okay, so who are we? Trustee. We are God trustee. Khalifa in Arabic, right? Trustee. What does it mean? Everything Allah gives to you, what? A trust. Your ear is trust. Your tongue, your mouth is trust. What for? Huh? To say the good. Not only to say. Be careful, yeah? I say what? To say no. To say what? It's good. Because if not, Allah will call you the general. What did you do with your tongue? Okay? What's again? Your hand. What's for the hand? Huh? To receive, to give all things good. 
First again, you're the fifth. You come here today that Allah reward you. Also, you can use the feet to the bad place, right? So, I trust. Money, if you have money, you have money? A lot? No? So, the money also trust. How you see the money? Everything is trust. Right? So, this number one. So, who are we? Allah's trusty. Right? So, be careful. Huh? Everything Allah gives to you, you have to use it, you know. Number two, what's the question number two? Why are we here? Okay, what's the answer? Why are we here? What's your name? What? Huh? Farhan. No, if I bring Farhan now into an empty island, I drop him there alone and I about to leave, what Farhan going to ask me? Hey, why were we here? Right? So this world like big island, you have to ask question. Every, did you wear shoes when you come here? Yes. Of course, right? What for your shoes? To protect your feet. So shoes have purpose, we didn't have purpose. Right? So what our purpose in this life? Almost, yeah. And again, nobody, nobody know the answer except what? Allah. And Allah said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I created not jinn and man but to worship me. So our goal in this life was to worship. There's two types of worship. Who can tell me? Two types of worship. They call ritual worship and what again? General worship. Ritual worship like what? Like you pray five times a day. Why do we pray? Who can tell me? Why do we pray? Yes. Very good. To connect to Allah, that's one. That's good. What's again? To thankful by Allah. MashaAllah. That's good also. What's again? Yes. Yeah, to ask forgiveness by pray. What's again? Yeah. All your answers is excellent. But also, shh, shh, we pray because we need to pray. Because we have body and we have soul. What your body need? Food and drink, right? What your soul need? Need food too. But not hamburger or chendol. Pray. So you pray, you feel the need of your soul. Allah Akbar. That you feel. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So you know the what the first one? What's the first question? Who are we? Who are we? Trusty of Allah. What our goal here? To worship Allah, right? And worship have two. Ritual worship, like pray, fasting, hajj, and also general worship. What general worship? Like you are here today. You're listening to me, this worship. What again? You smiling. You helping people. You nice to your parents. That's worship. Right? Subhanallah. And also, there is ibadah by your heart, ibadah also by your limb, by your action. Like salat, fasting, right? What is ibadah by your heart? You worship Allah by your heart. What's? Intention, what? Good. What's again? Do you know what tawakkal? You know the word tawakkal? What tawakkal mean? You put your trust in Allah. That's in your heart. Right? Yaqeen. There's also worship by you have to have yaqeen that everything happened by Allah's will. Right? Okay. The last question now. What's the last question? So, who are we? We are Allah's trusty. Our, our duty here to worship Allah. What's the last question? Where are you going from here? Where? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. What's the meaning of that? 
we belong to Allah and to Him we return. When we return to Allah, Allah prepared two places. What's they call? What's they call? Jannah and Jahannam. Right? If somebody goes to Jahannam, it is because Allah fall or that person fall? That person fall. Right? Because Allah tells everything. And, and Jannah and hell is not joking. It's a serious thing. Right? So, one of the dua in Ramadan that Allah SWT asks us two things. Right? One of them, Allah asks forgiveness, but second one. So I said, make this dua a lot. What's the first one? Ask Allah for forgiveness. What's the second one? Huh? MashaAllah, good. To be safe from the hellfire. <laughs> because hellfire is not joking. <laughs> you know what the lightest punishment hellfire? The easiest one. Allah will give to someone, he going to wear a, wear a shoes made of hot iron. Shoes, not like your shoes. Shoes made of what? Iron. And hot. When he wear it, his brain is boiling. That's the lightest one. You know, if you go outside, you have picnic and you have barbecue. How you cook the, the satay? With what? Yeah, fire or chok chokro, right? If you step in chokro, what happened? Oh, how long you can stay there? One second. Imagine forever. Right? So next time when you, when you lazy wake up for a fajr, when you didn't listen to your parents, remember this. And Allah tell you this not because Allah hate you. Because what? Allah love you. Allah don't want that you go to that place because it's a scary way. You know if there is room there, in the room they have scorpion, lion, all bad animals. And you're going to go there. And you love that person. Do you let him go? I don't know. But if you have them, what happened? Oh man, go have a scream there. <laughs> right? Ah, no, no. And they go. Yeah? Okay. So, this... Uh, in the month of Ramadan, Allah revealed the Quran. Right? But you know... When Allah was revealed the Quran? In the night of... Power. In Anzalnahu fi Laylatil Qadr, we reveal Quran the night of power, right? The night of power better than thousand. One thousand man, how many years? One thousand man, how many years? Who can count? Who good in math? One thousand months, how many years? 83, very good, 83. So if you get that night, look like if you pray, like you pray what? If you give sadaqah, like you give sadaqah what? Can you do that? If you give charity, like you give charity what? 83 years. Do you think you're going to waste it that? Okay. So, Ramadan 30 months, eh, 30 months, yeah, on the 29th. When the net of power happened? Last, the last 10 years. Right? In the last 10 years, what happened? What happened? The angel Jibreel will come down with thousands of the, with thousands of the angels. Right? They come down to where? In Makkah, in Kaaba. And he have wings. And his wings can reach the east and the west. When they spread the wings, right? And then they spread all the angels come to, come to LA to everybody. Looking for whom? On that night. He was watching TV? Play game? So don't let angel come to you. Oh man, he was playing game. I come to you. Right? This is the best moment that you have to do. Right? So I will show you some... Uh,
Okay. Okay. What? There is. Well, we wait, inshallah. What's the du'a of breaking fast? Okay, just one person. Can you say? Anybody? Du'a of breaking fast. The Prophet said, listen this. There is du'a that will never reject it. Imagine that. Allah guarantee if you make du'a, Allah will accept. And one of them, when you break your fast. Right? So you never make dua when you break your fast? You did? What? That's good. But this dua, it can say after me, inshallah. Say after me. ذهب الظما سي ذهب الظما وابتلت الأروق وثبت الأجر إن شاء الله تعالى من الآمنين ذهب الظما من the thirst is gone رسى حوسيلا وابتلت الأروق in the the truth is wet no but the reward is for sure and then you ask anything do after that right when the time to make dua before you break your fast or after break your fast huh both right so inshallah what time now uh, what you call the iftar fadi jam berapa huh 8 or 5 8.05 So 8 o'clock You have to stop nothing Just ask Allah You want You have For example Now you have uh, exam Ya Allah please You want To be something You want Ask Allah Ask on that moment That's the best time To make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala
Okay, so we wait shall love for itu itunya. So uh, we mentioned about psalm and what's the goal of fasting? Why do we fast? According to Quran, yes. To think about the poor, that's good. But what the Quran said? It said, Ya yalladhina amanu kutiba alaykum usyam kama kutiba alaladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun la'allakum tattaqun What does it mean? That's good. La'allakum what? Tattaqun Hoping, perhaps so that you may become what? People have taqwa. What taqwa mean? Taqwa mean. Did you hear the word taqwa before? Yes. Yeah. What does it mean taqwa mean? Huh? Taqwa mean to be mindful that Allah is watching you. To be what? Mindful that you're never alone. There's a camera. <laughs> you know sometimes you drive, people drive in the car in the freeway everybody was above speed limit what speed limit here 60 65 so people drive for example 80 70 <laughs> and then you see the cars become slow and all push the brake why is it why it's police right <laughs> police there's takwa you are at night no it has stop light it's red Wait, stop or not? Why you stop? Huh? It's red, right? Because there's there's camera also. There's taqwa. There's taqwa. So you can be alone. You are with your laptop. You can watch whatever you want. Your parent is not there. But he said, no. No, no, it's not good. Right? There's also consider what? Taqwa. Right? So, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Ramadan asked to do taqwa? Because when your stomach empty, right, you abstain from eating and drinking, it's easier to become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah? Yeah. Yang tadi dah. Explain. Ramadan, yeah. Remember that some people are 
just watching this, watching it as a video. So that's why I love King Bass to go with that. My name is Atia, and we like to say, Ramadan Mubarak, everyone! Bum, bum, bum. Ramadan Mubarak. When you're giving charity, donate to slavery. Under the Ramadan moon, over under the Ramadan moon. that he said the five daily prayers and from Jumu'ah to Jumu'ah and yani from the Jumu'ah to the next Jumu'ah and from Ramadan to Ramadan are an expiation of what comes between them i.e. when you reach Ramadan and you, see, and you fast Ramadan successfully then it is an expiation for everything that happened up until the previous Ramadan or between the previous Ramadan. So all the sins that you did between one Ramadan and the next are wiped out by fasting Ramadan. If a person avoids the major sins. And so this explanation really has two parts to it. Firstly, that we recognize the virtue of Ramadan in wiping out our sins and that Ramadan is a way to wipe out the sins that came before it all of the sins that came before it from Ramadan to the next Ramadan that when you fast this month of Ramadan inshallah ta'ala all of those sins are wiped out that you did during the year since the last Ramadan but there is one condition and that condition is that you avoid the major sins and so the purpose of this reminder is to remind everybody, myself and all of you, to avoid major sins in Ramadan so that we can get this huge reward and this huge virtue. And of course we have to avoid them outside of Ramadan, but especially when we're coming to this month, that we realize that the major sins, they get in the way of these expiation and the prayer and the Jumu'ah that is wiping out our sins, those major sins, they come in the way and they get in the way. It's very, very important that when we are fasting, we avoid the major sins. And as we continue through Ramadan and outside of Ramadan, we continue to be from those people who avoid the major sins so that we can get this huge reward of Ramadan in expiation for us, inshallah. Okay, so everybody will will get the reward of Ramadan if you avoid what they call the major sin. Can you give me what the major sin did? Shirik, okay. What again? Lying, that's good. The major sin, what again? Huh? Okay, listen this. In Arabic, there's two words. Mubtilat and Mufsidat. Mubtilat and Mufsidat. Mubtilat will break your fast physically. What break your fast physically? Like eating and drinking. But also, this girl called Mufsidat. Mufsidat means what? 
destroy the reward of fasting. Right? And the one who will not get the reward of fasting because they didn't fast all their limb, like the eyes. How your eyes fasting? Huh? Only see good thing. How your tongue fasting? Okay. So how many days Ramadan already? Half already. Right? Half already. No, this is a time to in Arabical to review. In these fifteen days these fifteen days. Try to review now. Did my eyes fasting too? My ear fasting too? My mouth fasting too? Right? If you're not, so you have to review now, subhanAllah, ya Allah, these 15 days is not good for me. You know there's some Muslim now in the grave, right? In the grave. If you ask them now, you can talk to them. What are you going to say? You have grandfather, grandmother, whatever Muslim in the grave now. You ask them, you can talk, Allah said, talk to him. They will ask what? You can guess. Ya Allah, please give me just one night of Ramadan. Right? So they are in the grave, they know the value, the reward of Ramadan. But they couldn't make it. Right? And Allah still give you change, a life. Right? And for you as a children, one you have to avoid in Ramadan is what? Beside all this within. Huh? Very important for you. And this is the key of Jannah. Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one time he wanted the member, say Amin. And say, why you say Amin Rasulullah? Because if somebody, he reached his parent or her parent, and the parent did not bring them to Jannah. So in Ramadan, we have to be careful. You know, never ever treat your parents badly. Never yell or shout or get angry with your parent. That will, will take out all that the reward Allah uh, was given to you. I want to show just one video and then inshallah we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is not recording here. Okay. So now inshallah this is a time that we we come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have uh, in, in ten minutes, right? But I would like to say the Arabic first and then you repeat after me and then I give you silent and to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right so you rush your hand just say Amin inshallah Alhamdulillah Hamdan you are fini Amma wa kafi wa mazida Ya Rabbana laka alhamdu kama in bagi li jalali wa tika wa adhi mi sultanik Allahumma salli wa salli wa la sinna Muhammad وَعَلَىٰ آلِهِ وَأَصْحَابِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ اللهم يا من أظهر الجميل وستر القبيح يا عظيم الأف يا حسن التجاوز يا واسع المغفرة يا باسط اليدين يا باسط اليدين يا صاحب كل نجوى يا منتهى كل شكوى يا كريم الصف يا عظيم المن يا الله يا ربنا ويا سيدنا 
ويا مولانا ويا غاية ركبتنا لا تسوي خلقنا بالنار اللهم يا رحمن يا الله يا رحيم يا الله يا ملك يا الله يا قدوس يا الله يا عزيز يا الله يا ودود يا الله يا لطيف يا الله يا غفار يا الله يا شكور يا الله يا مهيمن يا الله يا مؤمن يا الله يا مؤمن يا الله يا كريم يا الله يا غفور يا الله فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وذنوب آبائنا وأمهاتنا وجدانا وجداتنا وأمهات المسلمين المسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأهيا منه والأموات إنك سميع الدعوات اللهم إنا نسألك سلامة في الدين وعافية في الجسد وزيادة في العلم وبركة في الرزق وتوبة قبل الموت ورحمة عند الموت ومغفرة بعد الموت اللهم هون علينا في سكرات الموت والنجاة من النار والأفة عند الحساب ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا أذاب النار سنوري بتأثرمي إن شاء الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم إنك عفون تحب العفا فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفا فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفا فاعف عنا يا كريم This dua from the prophet Prophet said make love this dua The first one said Shadu an la ilaha in Allah That means I bear witness There is no good but Allah Astaghfirullah Allah please forgive me Nas'aluka jannah I ask for your jannah Wa na'udhu bika min nar I seek refuge in you from the hellfire Everything is good Allahumma inna ka'afun Allah you are the forgiver And please forgive us Right? So I think you know already. Read together, Inshallah. Ashhadu, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfirullah. Nasaluka al-jannah wa na'udhu bika min al-nar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfirullah. Nasaluka al-jannah wa na'udhu bika min al-nar. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فعفو أنا اللهم إنك عفو 
تحب الأفاف أنا اللهم إنك عفون تحب الأفاف أنا يا كريم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم إنك عفو تحب الأفاف عفو أنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب الأفاف عفو أنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب الأفاف عفو أنا يا كريم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفر الله نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفاف عفو أنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفاف عفو أنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفاف عفو أنا يا كريم So now I want you just sit, don't talk, put your hand like this and make dua in your language English, English and ask anything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala This is the best moment inshaAllah Okay, you can go now just for the iftars. Don't forget to start with the date.